This is the MS-462. I know I'm talking a lot about it, but I've done the most, wor most work on it. And this little bugger, I, I don't like this throttle. You see this, the rod? It goes up into a little pinch point right there to my left. Well, anyways, I'm trying to give you an idea. So I was putting it back together, struggling with this trigger because I never worked with it before. And lo and behold, I snapped that stupid little piece of plastic off. Who the engineer that designed this for steel should be fired. I would, I would never, never engineer something where a mechanic or homeowner would have to deal on a $2,000 saw, a piece of little plastic to snap off and cause your throttle to be garbage. Because what'll happen is, it's got a little flip lever here. You see me move the trigger. That goes on top of that. And see how it wobbles around now because it won't lock in? Do a, do a stupid little piece of plastic. And it does, it pushes down on it. What happened to the push-pull triggers that have been lasted for decades and never had a problem, and now you got this garbage. And then, then now this new carburetor EPA horse cocky, who cares? I mean, it's a two-cycle motor burning a little bit of fuel, and they're worried about the EPA and the environment. Give me a freaking break. Look at this stuff. This, this is just a chaotic monster. So you're paying two grand for this thing, and I'll be dang, man. It burns up, you have problems with it. And I guess there are things online about this thing smoking itself. So anyways, I got a new kit on it. Highway does make it. Meteor has not. You can go AM. You're going to spend 300 plus bucks for this sucker. But anyways, be careful with this saw. Uh, I'm hoping if this works for him, it's fine. If it don't, next time it burns up, I'm going to tell him to throw it away. Anyways, Henry the Weeder Man out.